Welcome back, everybody, to Harbor Discussion. Let me see that real quick. Yeah, yeah so like that happened. Now I'm like in a better mood. Gotta turn it back on. All right, we're good. Welcome back, everybody, to Harbor Discussions. We're here outside of the Auto Bar tonight at the uh, Combust headlining show. Uh, do you want to tell the audience who I am here with and your role in the band? Yo, Andrew. I front Combust, New York Hardcore. What's up? Hell yeah. So uh, do you want to talk about the uh, specific part of New York that you are from and what it is like living there? Uh, what's up? I don't got any cash on me. My bad. Stay strong out there. Anyway, yo, uh, born and raised Staten Island. Uh, Staten Island's one of the boroughs in New York City. It's my personal favorite. I think it's top tier. It's where all the real New Yorkers move to. Don't be fooled. Brooklyn and Manhattan got nothing but fake people in it now. Does Staten Island get a bad rap? All the time. Yeah. We're shitted on exclusively. That is what I've heard. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to talk about that at all? Like, what are the misconceptions? Oh, man, you don't got enough tape in this iPhone to talk about that. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, it's just, it's because we're more, we're, we're the more suburban borough gotcha. of New York, and they don't, uh, they don't understand that it's like, it still has all the real New Yorkers there, you know? So, I gotcha. But, you know, most of the people who got a lot to say aren't even from New York City to begin with, so. Gotcha. You know who you are. So uh, outside of like obvious New York hardcore influences that you would have, who outside of New York hardcore would you say influenced you in your music? Um, damn, a lot. Uh, we're super influenced by like Iron Maiden. Okay. Uh, like you know, just a lot of classic metal shit. Uh, a lot of Metallica stuff, Iron Maiden, uh, Celtic Frost, Slayer, shit like that. Uh, we're influenced by a lot of hip hop. Um, I'm personally influenced by, like, uh, some of my favorite bands, like Blacklisted, outside of that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just a, a whole lot of shit goes into Combust, man, but the main, the main component is New York Hardcore. I gotcha. Uh, do you still write, like, all the lyrics and stuff for the band? Yeah, yeah. I gotcha, and, uh, I correct, you're a big Seinfeld fan? I am a big Seinfeld fan. It's the best sitcom of all time. Gotcha. Best sitcom ever created. What are some of your other, like, favorite shows? Oh man, uh, wow, it's, it's a loaded question. So uh, I love It's Always Sunny. Uh, I just rewatched uh, Breaking Bad and Sopranos. I mean, Definitely. undeniable classics. Can never get tired of watching that shit, man. Undeniable classics. Uh, I watch, I, I tend to stay away from like a lot of TV shows now because I feel like I've just, I did like a lot of my whole revisiting all the cartoons that I love. Yeah, I okay. still like cartoons. I'm 30 years old. I like cartoons. I'm assuming it's like more the old school cartoons. Yeah, like, you know, like I got like, you know, all the Cartoon Network shit. I'm a Cartoon yeah. Network head, Nickelodeon head, Ren and Stimpy, all that shit. You know what I mean? But yeah. like. Comfort show. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you get it. Uh, but yeah, like I, for the most part, I'll just be, i most of the time just have like Seinfeld running on my TV, like literally all day. I gotcha. <laughs> Um, so, just in general, what do you think people get wrong about New York? People that are outside of New York. <sighs> what do they get wrong about it? Um, I think they think it's some, like, kind of free-for-all where, like, you kind of are so exposed to doing whatever you, like, whatever you want and, like, you, right. can, you can make anything happen, but the reality is, like, most of the time these people really don't have an identity to make anything happen and they don't put anything back into the community when they come to New York. They kind of just, like, leech off of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they expect, because uh, it's New York, I guess, that it's going to influence them. Or exactly, them and it's out. just, you got to you gotta have it in you before you come through, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, that, you know, that happens with anything, any state. You know, people move to California, you know, expecting the same shit. Exactly. So, uh, y'all are playing FYA this year. Yeah, I just announced it. Mad hype on that. Shout oh, yeah. out, Bob. Uh... Been waiting to play FYA for a while, and uh, I think it's been like the best it's been. Like it's like one of the biggest fests I feel now. Absolutely. So, and, and the lineup is dope. So. Yeah. Speaking of the lineup, um, so Dying Fetus is on the lineup this year, death metal band. Um, yeah. And I've seen a lot of comments and stuff like that. People aren't really sure what to think and what the uh, crowd reaction is going to be. What are your thoughts on Dying Fetus playing the hardcore lineup? I mean, yo, metal bands been playing hardcore shows forever, bro. Exactly. I mean, mad, mad hardcore bands, especially in this day and age, are. 
always influenced by metal and death metal. I, it makes sense. It's not crazy. Right. Me personally, I. It's not my thing. Right. You know, I won't be in the pit. But I got a lot of friends who will be definitely doing some bad shit to that band, and that's <laughs> yeah. cool. And I'll be watching that. Yeah, I've I've just seen both sides on social media. That's why I kind of wanted to get yeah, your take no, on I, that. For sure. Um. So. Another Life LP is the newest release. Um, yes, you all have done it through Cash Only Records. Do you want to talk about working with them and what they're like? Cash Only Records, worst people on earth. No. Uh, <laughs> shout out Connor and Chandler. Uh, they're homies. They play in uh, bands like Akulu and Illusion and all that okay. shit. Uh, they're dope. Uh, just kind of like came naturally just from chilling. Yeah. And uh, they said they wanted to start going harder with the label that they were doing after they did like the Akulu LP. And then, uh, yeah, it actually, like, we just started discussing it one day at, like, a poker game at my house, me and Connor, and then, you know, like I said, we're homies, so it's just kind of, like, super fluid, you know what I mean? Like, it just went natural. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, I want to talk about the uh, lyrics. I like to pick out cool lyrics that uh, I yeah, like and stuff thing, like man. that. Um, just for time's sake and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, we'll just go over another life. Yeah. Um, so, for the big game, it's such a fucking shame to feel alone in crowded rooms, but I won't let it stay in the person that I've grown into. Yes. So, talk about that, and especially that last line. I won't let it stay in the person that I've grown into. Uh, so, I mean, that whole record was kind of written in a part of my life where I was going through some things. But, uh, you know, I guess to break it down, you know, it, when you feel like you're supposed to be in a community with a bunch of your friends and then, you know, uh, sometimes some certain things that you go through, maybe falling out with certain friends, certain people, you know, scenes change, all that kind of shit. You know, yeah. you, you go around and, like, you just feel, like, maybe disconnected from, uh, you know, lifelong friends or childhood friends or maybe, like, people aren't there anymore, you know, but... Uh, you can't let it really affect your mental in the long run, especially when, uh, you know, you're getting older and you've done a lot of thinking and changing about the person who you are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, why I hate. Can't share my fire with the mentally weak. It burns behind my eyes. Yeah. So, uh, that song is just about being a genuine hater. Okay. That's a that's a hater song, bro. Why I hate. That's a, <laughs> that's a hater song. No, I mean, uh, honestly, I... Listen, there's like 10 different ways to approach the subject of that song. Uh, that deep down in my heart, I, I think that there's a lot of positives to the way HC is being exposed right now, but there's also a lot of negatives at the end of the day. But, you know, I think, you know, I can't share, can't share my fire with the mentally weak. My fire would be referring to HC, of course. Okay. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that come in and out of this shit that really don't understand fully, but then try to be influencers or try to make the rules as to what happens and you know I got hate in my brain bro it burns behind my eyes you know what I'm saying I gotcha um the knife a cycle we hate but it's all we know temptation extends its hand again the knife in my spine my only friend yeah that's just uh it's about a certain person who did a lot of bad okay that's uh that's that's right that's plain on paper right there you know what I'm saying I gotcha uh the devil in me this had Probably the most lyrics that I liked. Mm. My mistakes would crush you, so I'll bear the weight. Uh, yeah, that's kind of just about... Um, uh, that's just kind of like a very personal song about how, you know, sometimes you could hurt the people that are really close to you, and uh, sometimes you can't even express it to them, and then you just kind of got to bear all that guilt on your shoulders, and then, you know, eventually you got to... You got to let it out eventually, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that... uh. That guilt really builds up when it's someone that you really, really, really love and have respect for, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Is it just a fantasy to be free? Is this kind of about the whole idea that we just are given the illusion of free choice? Uh, that's, that's like a fraction of it. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like... You kind of you kind of nailed that. I never really like worded it that way in my own brain, but that's kind of basi okay. the basis of it. Yeah. yeah, I'm just, you know, a lot of people point out how it's like... We're, uh, we're told so much, you know, through TV, shit like that. And it's like, we think we have all these choices, but really it's kind of, it's you know. Well, I mean, the, I, I think it's actually more weighted towards, like, the fact that we do have the choices. But, like, sometimes you really, in the moment, like, you think that you are able to make the right choice. But you really just, yeah, your own fucked up brain makes you do really dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the best like, way I can word that. I'm not very articulate. I got you. 
for years and years I've tried to hide from my desires that lurk deep inside. Yeah, um, again, that's just about uh, this is about coming to the surface with the fact that uh, I would like to do very, very, very bad things. I think That's all that it is, is. I think it's more normal than people expect. I think everyone's got fucked up intrusive thoughts. Oh, but it's 100%. Like, if the problem is when people act on it, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, and that's what that song is, what happens when you act on them. <laughs> um, and then the mirror laughs at what they can't see. Distorted reflections expose the devil in me is where the title comes from. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, I feel like that's... I feel, like my, like, my, I feel like the lyrics for most of my songs aren't really too hard to dissect at the end of the day, but, like, you know... Uh, basically, I know, I know what I'm seeing when right. I look at myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't want to ever expose that to the people that I love, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, yeah, so. I gotcha. Uh, set to explode. Set to explode. Who's to blame when the world's going insane? Corrupt powers and global disease while our humanity is crumbling. They just keep on pulling the thread while Armageddon hangs over our heads. They lit the fuse, it's them or you. They make the rules, there's nothing we can do. Now, I can definitely see this being just about, like, kind of government high powers in general, but was this also kind of related to, like, the lockdown stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, but that all just ties back in the government, and that's, that's a whole nother thing raveled into it, but, yeah, for sure. It's just government and a lot of the shit that I felt about some of the things that were changing through big government when the lockdown was happening, some things weren't what kind of adding stuff? up. Uh, a lot of it seemed like a lot was just uh, being overextended for profit mm. for big corporations. Yeah. That's one. That's one part of it. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll let everyone interpret that the way they want. I got you. Uh, prison of time. Look to nostalgia too much. I lean on it like a broken crutch. Yeah. Uh, I'm just a dude who like. I really sometimes have a have a problem with uh, looking forward on shit. I really I I tend I tend to find myself always you know just like how it says in the song. I really just enjoy looking back on a lot of the good memories that I had. But you know, I do appreciate every other thing that I get to do in my future and present right now. But that song's about you know just always always wishing things were. Certain, some things were the way they used to be, you know? I got you. Yeah, it's just interesting because uh, I feel like most of the time nostalgia is used in a more, like, positive light, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, that's, you know, for, for me sometimes it's like, it's really rough because then I get, I dwell on, on the way things used to be and how I wish it could be like that still and then I get stuck in that place, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think a lot of us do. Um, another life, warm horizons poisoned by a cold reality. Uh, yeah, that's um, just uh, kind of like... That whole song is really just about uh, how you make certain choices in life and then you uh, find yourself stuck in a, a position that maybe you don't want to be in necessarily, but you're really trying hard to make the best out of your, out of your certain situation, you know what I mean? But yeah. then you realize, like, oh, like that kind of future is so far away when I'm trying to do this future that I want, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I gotcha. Uh, struggle inside. The walls are caving in, but I gotta fight back. Life's got me in the grips, but I refuse to be trapped. That's just uh, a song's about just trying to overcome all the all the bad thoughts in you. Not giving up. Not don't ever give up. Exactly. Don't give up. Ever. Um, overexposure. Perfectly content with nothing to do. That's exactly how they control you. Scrolling through time in the blink of an eye. No passion or drive to really be lies. This kind of about like the social media and overexposure. Yo, this guy. Yo, this guy. He's <laughs> a fucking genius, bro. Yeah, right. that's uh, that song is just about that social media. And you know, it's it's funny because it's like not a song really attacking everyone. Well, I mean it is, but it's also kind of like I find myself falling into that shit sometimes too and yeah, I really oh yeah, yeah. gotta reel myself back and you know I don't want to be that kind of person where I really it's cause like there's just so much going on outside I mean that's an old head thing I don't like yo no technology bro <laughs> nah it sucks especially like when you do music or anything like that cause like nowadays you almost have to be involved with it yeah I mean there is a there is a con constant need for like content creation you gotta mm -hmm. like post and post and post I get it I, I know I know how the game goes yeah. but like you know, yeah, when when you could be scrolling through other people's content, you could be making your own fucking songs. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Play a guitar. Don't play TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, guaranteed. 
Uh, and then another fool. I want to know what kind of person this song is about. You keep trying to spin the shit. I've seen people like you before. Manipulation is how you thrive. I'm sick of hearing lies from such a shallow mind, but now I'll walk away because I know I shouldn't waste any more energy. Uh, that song was also written about one certain person who did gotcha. a lot of very bad things. Gotcha. Um, I like that last line. I know I shouldn't waste any more energy. Like, you know, does it take you a while to realize that, you know? Well, in this one particular situation, it took, it took me a very long time to figure that out. I gotcha. <laughs> um, and then the lines are drawn. Uh, just elaborate on this for me. Plagiarized how we live our lives. Now you got to pay the cost. That's a New York City song through and through. Okay. That's about people who either come into the city of New York, the scene of New York hardcore, and they try to pass it on as like they're, they've always been down. They've always been about it. They're a New Yorker, mm. but they just moved here two years ago. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the basis of that song, you know what I'm saying? I got you. Um, now, anybody that wants to get a breakdown on their other project, The Void, uh, go to In Effect and No Echo, because y'all did some uh, articles with them. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, no, uh, two, two great uh, websites who do a lot for hardcore. They expose a lot of good bands. Uh, they're just dudes who are genuinely down for the core. In effect, they've been around since before you and I were even oh, thoughts yeah, in our yeah. parents' heads. <laughs> uh, like, they just, you know, I think stuff like that is really good. Absolutely. It helps when it comes me to the my, internet. My research and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they, they show love to a lot of bands, they put in a lot of work. So, oh, yeah. respect to them. Definitely. They uh, definitely laid the ground for uh, someone like me to do exactly. what I do. Um, and uh, do you want to talk about like some, is there a lot of hardcore venues in Staten Island or do you have to travel to like other parts of New York? So uh, Staten Island, like I would say up until about mm, 2017, we had venues up until like 2017-ish okay. and uh, kids came, kids would come. We had a pretty good scene. It wasn't the best, right. but it was good. Yeah. And then uh, out of nowhere, people just like really stopped caring, like dropped off at like mm. that drop of a hat. They were just out. And um, it's been a while since we had a scene and bands in general. Uh, but uh, I know that there's a couple young kids coming up, starting to do bands. They're not necessarily full on hardcore bands, but like they're getting there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, but an old venue uh, that used to do shows all the time that I used to book at, old, all my old bands would play at. Um, it's in the back of a tattoo shop, okay. and they just reopened. Like they're down to have shows there now. So we'll see if that happens. I'm. I would love to book a show there. We'll see. It's just got to be. You know, like I said, people like to shit on Staten Island. So we got to see if the lineups just got to be good enough to get them out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, one of the things I think of Staten Island is obviously the movie King of Staten Island. You got yeah. any thoughts on that? Was it a good movie? Did it, it was, do a good job? Yeah, it, it wasn't bad. I like Pete Davidson. I like okay. Bill Burr. Yeah, hell yeah. I thought I thought it really could have been a way worse movie. That's all yeah. I'll say. Okay. Um, what are some of the best food spots in Staten Island? Ooh, all right. Um, Danino's is the best bar pie. Okay. Now, there's a difference. There I was going to say, bar New, York, pies. New York's huge on pizza, so. There are bar pies, and then there's a regular pie. Now, that look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. What's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Say something. Something. There you go. Um, now there's bar pies and there's regular pizza pie. You know what I'm saying? There's slices in it. You know, but like, uh, like, they both have slices actually. But like, it's just different style. But um, so Danino's for bar pie, Nona's for a regular pie. Okay. Right. Then you got John's Deli, which I know is originated in Brooklyn, but we got one. Then you got Phil and Chino, another sandwich spot. Okay. Um, What's the best sandwich there? Oh, man. Sometimes they have this special where they do like a ribeye, like a select ribeye. All right. It's got to be like like special for that day, though. Okay. And they put like fresh peppers on it, mozzarella. Mm. That shit slaps. And then oh, you, yeah. got, uh, you got usually what I will get. My go-to is hot supersad, hot gabagool, fresh mutz. Arugula, balsamic, boom, you're done. That's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, so, what's been your favorite part of the tour so far? What's been some of the best cities you've gone to? Um, Chicago was, like, probably the best show so okay. far. Oh, I mean, we only have a couple days left, but yeah. that was definitely a, a higher point. 
Uh, North Carolina was really sick last night. Uh, they broke the venue. Uh, yo, honestly, I can't even say anything bad about any of the shows on the tour. I'm thankful that, like, no beat shows happened. Like, I really, I was satisfied with every show. It was really cool. Uh, the worst part of the tour is the fact that this fucking van has no air conditioning in August. So, you know, it's just a big, hot, sweaty soup mess in there. Yeah, that's you know? no fun. That's no fun. It's the summer. It's hot as hell. You don't want that. No. It's August. Nobody, Nobody wants, wants that. that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Um, so kind of my last note, uh, what's like the plans for some more upcoming combust music? So we got stuff. Okay. But I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Just know that we got stuff. I got you. And then we got a bunch of big announcements to go with it because, you know, it's crazy like, like that. Like shows and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, shows, uh, you know, we just announced uh, we're doing a Cali run with okay. Big Boy. Nice. Shout out Big Boy. Hell yeah. Uh, we're doing another run with another band that's playing here soon cool. uh, for a weekend. Uh, we're doing some fests, you know, we're doing a run down to FYA. You know, you'll, you'll see it all. Hell yeah. You'll see it all. Uh, that was all I had. Do you have anything else you would like to uh, tell the people? New York Hardcore. Guaranteed. That's it. Thank you for having Hell me, bro. Yeah, I appreciate man. you, brother. Hell yeah, dude.